St. Patrick's Day. It is. Yes. So I made I made some Guinness stew, and I brought over a friend of mine. This is Jack. Hey. A real Irishman, you can tell <laughs> by his cape. Yeah. If the slightly ginger beard wasn't enough. Okay, let's start cooking. Um, first get about a kilogram or about two pounds of beef. This is chuck. You want to season it with salt and pepper and then throw it into an oiled pan. So you want to flip them around constantly turning it until the beef is caramelized on each side. And then you can transfer it into your big old stew pot. Yeah, once you've transferred it all into the stew pot, Reuse the same kind of grease in the bottom of your pan to fry up some onions. This is three onions I've got here. Season that, salt and pepper, and then keep stirring, maybe about five minutes. And then you're gonna wanna add a couple tablespoons of minced garlic. Okay, next we add the star of the show, which is the Guinness. Um, since I made such a big pot of stew, I used two cans of Guinness, but of course you can add as much or as little as you like. Just make sure you save at least one can for when your Irish friend comes over later. Uh, throw in some roughly chopped carrots. I think this is about five carrots here. And hopefully your tomato paste doesn't come in these weird sort of ketchup packets, but anyhow, I think is about four or five tablespoons worth that I threw in. Give it a stir, add two glasses of chicken broth or chicken stock, a couple tablespoons of sugar, and then what I'm doing here is I'm actually setting some of this aside in another pot because not everybody likes celery about two stalks, two really big stalks of celery that I used. Again, use as much or as little or none at all as you like. Okay, then the final step is to just simmer it for two hours, throw the lid on, come back and check it periodically, just make sure everything's going as planned. And then after two, two and a half hours, you want to take off the lid, crank it up a bit and let it reduce just to thicken it up a little bit more. And that's pretty much it. The only thing left is to uh, call up your Irish friend and invite him over. Let me know, do Irish people actually eat this kind of stew or... Well, like I told it... you earlier, yeah. my family, neither my dad's side or my mom's side ever, ever made this. So I only ever had it in restaurants. Uh -huh. That's really nice. It's good. good. It's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I want to compare it to the most recent games to a head, but that was so long ago. Oh, really? I assume people celebrate St. Patrick's Day in Ireland, right? What sort oh, yeah, of things? We go crazy. Yeah. What sort of things do they do? Like, um, are we celebrating it correctly? Like in other parts of the world that you've witnessed, or? Well, there, some of, of the stuff is kind of like green beer is kind of silly. Like we don't do that. Right. Uh, the first St. Patrick's Day parade was actually in New York. It wasn't even in Ireland. Oh really? Yeah. Don't they like paint the river green or something? They do in that? some cities. Somewhere. Uh, someone told me this yesterday. I mean, like in Boston. Chicago or Boston. Or one yeah. of those. I think there's a lot of Somewhere. Irish yeah, yeah, yeah. in Boston, so probably Boston. Yeah, we don't do that. <laughs> the, the main thing is the parade. Yeah, there's a big old parade. Is there's there... a huge parade in Dublin. Right. Which is the one Are there like big floats with like leprechauns and things? Like the image. No, that's another thing. Leprechauns. Nice. Yeah? Yeah, leprechauns are kind of. They're kind of like the green beer. Not yeah. as. Not as. Not as much. No. Um, there would be some leprechauns, but more. I don't know. Like we don't really float. Well, we do floats, but not. It's different to like American uh, parades in America. Oh really? Yeah. Is it a lot of people waving Irish flags and stuff, or it's like sort uh, of patriotic? Well, there's, or yeah, I, w I watched the parade last year from where I used to work, which was on one of the main streets where the parade went by on the right. second floor. So I saw everything. Uh, some of the sections of the parade are just companies of. Uh, oh, okay. Advertising. It sounds like a Japanese yeah. kind of samurai. Have you seen the? No, I the haven't actually. Yeah, yeah. I'm a lot of work that day. So a lot of company soon. people dressed up as samurai, <laughs> <laughs> holding banners with their company logo and yeah. stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, no, that's yeah, yeah, exactly it. Oh, okay. Like last year, there were these. There was a group of people who were dancing with signs, spinning them, 
Yeah. For, it was a real estate agent. I thought it was kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then there were just like cars, like com- cars that were completely bright green. I don't remember the brand, so they did, they weren't that effective. Right. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> then there's a lot of music, a lot of brass bands, marching bands. Is it like the Irish music that we no associate that, with? Like, like most of these marching bands are actually yeah. from. They come over from the states. Oh really? Mm. Places in the states that have ties to Ireland or people who uh, have Irish sister city or yeah, yeah, yeah. something like that. Actually, I know you're wearing your flag there. I'm not really wearing anything green, <laughs> no. but I'm gonna have a green. Oh yeah, uh, a green soda. We actually we don't have that one. Either. No, is this green? is I think it's only in Japan. All right. But it's green, so I thought it was appropriate. It'll do. Do you feel like joining me, or would you rather have a Guinness? Uh. First time I had a can of Guinness. Yeah. Uh, You're like, what is that? <laughs> What's that floating in there? Yeah, no, I thought someone would, uh, like, you know, play a prank on me and put something in my uh, can of Guinness. Like, who put this ball in there? <laughs> and I think it was my dad who was like, you are an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> is yeah. there an Irish cheers? Or? Yeah, Slauncha. Slauncha? Slauncha. Slauncha. Mm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think yours is a better match than mine. <laughs> well, it's, it's super green, though. Yeah, it's super it's green. green. Yay! Yeah. If you if you if you ate enough of the stew, would you get drunk? No. <laughs> There's only two cans. Oh. That was a leftover. That was a leftover can that I didn't put in. Hmm. I don't know why I didn't put it in, but the recipe called for like a tall boy, hmm. and then some some like chicken stock, and hmm. I'm thinking. I'm gonna put two short ones in, which is more than a tall boy. Hmm. But why am I putting chicken stock? Why don't I just put more Guinness in? Is what I was thinking <laughs> as I was making it. Hmm. But you know, I wanted to follow the recipe, so hmm. I ate far too much yesterday. You know, did you? Uh, we just ordered too much food. What did you order? Like you said, you had cheese. What else did you order? Cold cannon. Do you know Cole Cannon? I don't know. I, like oh, cannon, I, was, I, was, I was shocked. I was like, really it? amazed to see. It's a traditional Irish. It's really simple. It's just mashed potatoes mixed with kale. Oh, really? Mm. And often it will have onion in it as well. Mm. But there's no onion in it yesterday. Hmm. Weird. Uh, it That's good. Tiny little bacon bits. Yeah, it's really... We, for some reason, we always ate it on Halloween. People ask me about, oh, so what do you eat now? What kind of food do you know? Yeah. And I'm... Is it normal food? Yeah, I'm just kind of like, yeah. we don't, we eat a lot of soup. We have nice brown bread, uh, uh, stew sometimes, right. fish and chips. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, That's what I usually order when I go to the, the Bull and Bear, fish yeah. and chips. Yeah, we got that. The fish was really good. Yeah. yeah, I've had some weird fish and chips in Japan. I think I had one, do you know, uh, what are those long fish? With the the eggs inside, like the pregnant fish. I can't remember. Shisha mo. Yeah, I have ever had that. Those, they, I've seen pictures. I yeah. don't. I ordered fish and chips, and it came with that. It was battered and fried, right? Yeah. <laughs> but it was so like you didn't what? know. You didn't know. <laughs> I, I had no idea. Oh man! And I was like, what was is it, this? Was it nice? No, it wasn't <laughs> nice at all. It was those. <laughs> Those fish. It looks disgusting. Yeah, it's those fish. You eat them whole. You eat the head. You eat yeah, the tail. Yeah, yeah. You eat the, the little eggs inside. Mm. And it was that and a side of French fries. <laughs> like, what is this? Well, on, on the menu was it fish and chips? It was said fish and chips in English. Oh, I can't remember. It was years ago. If it said it in English or not. Same with poutine. Whenever I find poutine on a menu, Canadian thing. Yeah. Mm. Whenever I find it, I always oh, I gotta try it. I gotta try it, but. Every single time, it's been a letdown in Japan. Yeah. But the worst one I ever had was just fries with a slice of processed cheese on top and a few scallions. You and can't that, that call was it. it. You can't call it. I know. I know. I know. Yeah. This is a can, the yeah. equivalent of a can, which is 350 mils, was it? Or 3, 330. 330. Yeah. So in Japan, how much would a glass of Guinness normally cost? Or how much would a pint cost? In Japan or not? Or both, yeah, in Japan. Uh, Say so like 800, 900 yen? For a pint. For a pint? Or sometimes even a thousand, right? I've never paid that much, no? but, but 
at least 800. 800, well, yeah. Seven, seven, no, probably 800. Around yeah. 800. 850. Yeah, yeah. for a pint, which is a bit a bigger pint. a bit bigger than this. Which is a bit more. Yeah, yeah. so eight, 800 yen is probably about $7 or so, Euro, I'm guessing. Euro would be maybe just a little bit less. Not yeah. Much. And how about in Ireland? How much for a pint of Guinness in Ireland? Or do you recall? <clears throat> Yeah, I bought enough of them. It depends <laughs> okay. where you buy it. If you're yeah, yeah, yeah. in the countryside, they'll yeah. be as cheap as four euro for a pint. Four. Yeah. Oh, or okay. even three eighty. So or about half might... price. Yeah. Than Japan. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it's better as so. well. It's better as well. <laughs> yeah. In my dad's town, which is like the very west of Ireland, and more rural, yeah. three eighty or three ninety last time I was uh, there. Okay. But then in Dublin, it should be five five euro. Uh, okay. Yeah. And in my hometown, four ninety. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyhow, that's it for this video. We'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you try this recipe, please let me know. If you make a video or just take a photo, definitely let me know and I can check it out. So thanks again to Jack for joining us. Thank you. And we'll see you delish. in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>